Hi guys and welcome to Rupus and Doofus. I'm Chico and I'll be your host today. Um, just wanted to give you guys an update. Uh, things are moving along pretty well with Guz. We're doing little things here and there and uh, trying to uh, schedule projects as their uh, level of importance. Um, so far we're doing pretty well. Um, we're still having an issue with our fuel pump uh, or I believe it to be the fuel pump and uh, I just got the new replacement pump in. It's an original equipment part uh, by uh, Motorcraft, so it's not the crappy little pump that the fella put in. Um, at this point, I, I don't even know if the fuel pump is 100% the problem, but I do know that when he put the tank back up, uh, he uh, damaged something that goes in the frame rail that attaches to the pump or to the fuel tank and I'm getting some leaking when I fuel the RV up. So at this pump point I don't even want to fuel it up because the tank has to come down to do the leaking on the fill up side repair but while it's down I'm putting in a good fuel pump. I just have this feeling that the, the problems I'm having with starvation to the engine uh, are due to the fuel pump. Uh, or debris in the tank, maybe a rag fell in there, I have no idea, but the tank has to come down, and if I'm going to go that far, I am going to put in the recommended original equipment manufacturer's fuel pump by Motorcraft, so that's one thing. Um, I think we're on schedule, my plan is to, to get out of here on March 1st. Uh, if that happens, wonderful, if it doesn't happen, there's no gun to my head at this point, so you know, if it takes longer, it takes longer. But I just don't want to leave uh, knowing that there's uh, things on the, on the rig that need to be taken care of that are important. Uh, you know, things like uh, making sure that the refrigerator works fine, making sure that the hot water uh, tank uh, a heater fires up and works fine, um, especially things that have to do with, with uh, actually... Um, drivetrain and and things of that nature so we're going along at a slow pace but we're doing the best we can uh, the other thing I wanted to mention and I know a lot of you probably know this I just want to reiterate it because I uh, was probably a little delinquent when I was looking um, I saw a lot of motorhomes that were really trash and those were easy to pick out um, you know it's not hard to to see a rotten roof it's not hard to see uh, a house or a motorhome that's been been very badly maintained things of that nature when I came upon this one it was very clean looked really nice it was the model I wanted and the guy seemed like a really nice guy and I've always been a sucker for nice guys you know but I neglected to do something that, that, that I think is very important and um, I'm gonna recommend this that you do this if you're searching for a motorhome Number one, make sure you go out and test drive it. Uh, in my case, the situation was it was sitting there. He said it wasn't registered, so it wasn't insured. Uh, things of that nature. Um, I'm regretting the fact that I didn't take it out for a test drive. You know, at least 10 or 15 miles, whatever. Uh, I would have picked up right away on a fuel pump problem, you know. Probably could have got a little bit better deal uh, if I still wanted to purchase it. Uh, but make sure you take it out for a test drive. Fortunately, that's the only issue I had. Uh, the motorhome tracks well, engine runs strong, things of that nature, brakes work, all of that. Uh, so I'm lucky there. But other things that can happen. Um, you know, I said, well, let's start the, the uh, generator up. Well, you know, there's not enough gas in the tank. It's only, it's less than a quarter tank full and blah, blah, blah. You know how it goes. So I said, well, was it running? And he said, yeah. And we went over there and, uh, you know, everything looked fine. Again, I couldn't run it. It kicked over, but I couldn't run it. Uh, I was fortunate, okay? The only thing that was wrong with the generator was that from sitting, the fuel pump had gotten a little bit um, seized up. I took it out, uh, ran some WD-40 through it, uh, let it run for a little bit, put it back in, and the issue was solved and the generating is, generator is working perfectly well. So I guess what I'm trying to say is anything that you can make run at the point of purchasing it, 
turn it on, uh, do whatever you have to do, televisions, radios, fans, air conditioners, um, tail lights, headlights, whatever you can make run, run. If they tell you that there's a problem, like, you know, the guy didn't have it registered and such, stuff like that, I'd say, look, here's the deal. We're, either we take a chance and run it, or we're not going to buy it. I mean, I should have done that. I lucked out, but I can see where I could have had a major problem. Um, appliances, same thing. You know, well, it's not hooked in. Well, let's get it hooked in. I mean, if the air conditioner needs a certain amount of power, let's find it, you know, because air conditioners are expensive to work on. Uh, fortunately, mine work. Once I got the generator fired up, fired up the air conditioning, it worked great. Dash air blows cold. Well, that's just off the engine. But anything that they give you an excuse for, for, well, you know, this, uh, whatever, we don't have uh, uh, enough gas, we don't have enough power, it's not hooked up, bullshit. Oop, I didn't mean to say that. Boop, boop. But, you know, check it out. Check out the batteries. Uh, they're expensive. And, uh, you know, what the heck, if it's a no good battery, say something and keep knocking bucks off. Um, but that's the only thing I can say is if you're out there and you're looking, don't let them tell you, well, it doesn't work because we're not fueled up. I mean, that doesn't work. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. So if they can't show you that it works, assume it's broke and try and wiggle that much off of the price. Um, if they come down in price, chances are uh, that there is something wrong with it. If they're really adamant and they say, well, then say, you know, prove it to me. Prove to me that that works. So without rambling, I don't want to get crazy here, but I just want to give you an update. Um, March 1st looks like it's possible. Um, I'm hoping it is. I'd love to get on the road by then. And just a little report on Rufus. He's not here again today with me. Um, he had another uh, instance, uh, uh, I don't know what you call it, an outbreak or whatever, episode, whatever it was the word. But his little rash started up again. And I did find some really good information. I have some medicine coming, which hopefully will take care of this problem. So if you're wondering where Rufus is right now, he's at home sleeping because uh, Benadryl and all that other stuff makes him really drowsy. Um, other than that, I really don't have anything else to add. Uh, the work on the RV is going to continue. I have a slight problem with my hot water heater. Um, it's not ignite, igniting on a, on a regular basis. It's very intermittent. Uh, I think that could be probably either a ground or a loose connection or something, but we're going to check that out. So, that's it. Sorry if I rambled a little bit, but I just, you know, like to help you guys out as much as I can. And if anybody out there can help me, help me. I need it, you know. I don't know at all, believe me, and uh, especially when it comes to RVs. Just, uh, it's not my forte, but um, trying to apply whatever knowledge I have to fixing things, and so far knock on wood that's even woodier up there things have been working out so that's it guys have a great day and we'll see you soon